Hey everybody, I'm this, Lex. I'm Jordan with PQ.com. This is the right credentials. It's kind of like the uh, the after party after the webcast. Is that what we call this? I, th I think so. It's the wind down. <laughs> the wind down. How can <laughs> you so wind down from the show. hyped IT? Yeah. So, I, I did some quick research. If, oh, yeah. you, if you watched the webcast that we had on imaging before this, I mentioned that I skimped on the logic on my PowerShell. Yeah, yeah. I and, bet you didn't it. And then I ran into some issues and we weren't sure what. Uh, we found that out. It was there was extra text files in the machines that failed, so that's why it was failing. So my, I, I acknowledged my lack of logic in the PowerShell itself and then completely forgot about it when it came time to it uh, failing. To, to, okay. But All the right. script does work if uh, you, you're not dumb like me. <laughs> well, I'm not even going to touch that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm walking away from that. But uh, some things that have been happening this week tech-wise, right? Um, we're still dealing with uh, Microsoft's print nightmare? Yep, that, that's... Uh, the zero day that came out, uh, yeah. I don't know, a week ago, say five, five, six days ago. Why uh, do people still use printers? I, I don't know. I had to find a pen today. It was like finding a rock and a chisel, you know. So, but but it's not necessarily just pr like printers use the principle, or, sure. But there's a lot of things that might use the principle yeah, service. That's a good point. That we're still just like uh, our auto reports on our product use mm -hmm. the principle. Okay. So you can still yeah. run reports, but auto reports without the principle would fail. Okay. Do PDF printers use the principle? I, I actually don't know. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a fantastic question. It may. It may. It may. We're going to go with You have mic. computers sitting in front of you, but you know, whatever. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. here we go. <laughs> so the question I've got, Microsoft released a fix that wasn't really a fix. Is that right? That That is it correct. It was a fix, but it wasn't sufficient. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't all in clear. It wasn't, I, think, I mean, it left some vulnerability from what I understand. Am I right, Jordan? Yeah, so it, the PDF printers do require the spooler service, but you can change the spooler settings. And we just, uh, all they got to do is drop something. You go right down that rabbit hole, well, right? No, they asked me to use the computer, so I did. <laughs> just so, messing with you, man. All right, so. <laughs> messing with you. All right, uh, so for the print, they, they fixed a lot of the issues, but there were some that have to do with the point and print settings yeah. where it's not fixed, where you can, st so you're still at risk on the remote side of things, even after the patch. Yeah. And it's basically three registry keys. Registry right here. We got this blog. Yeah, pop this up, Jake, for everybody. Yep. here it is. So it's uh, just the print nightmare new zero day. Uh huh. We went through and we added the fix after the patch came in to this blog. There's a link to it right on the top of it on the update. We'll go up there. So just right here, this section here, for the no fix, longer to zero day. And this will talk about the patch itself that is updated and, mm -hmm. and ready to go. You can update your system with that, but you still need to make a few changes. On yeah, this one, are. you're basically going to the Local machine software, uh, pr printers point of print. It's, mm -hmm. it's all in, in the blog here. And this, this PowerShell here will look for if point of print exists, and if not, it will create that. And then okay. it's going to create three uh, separate uh, entries. The restrict driver installation to admins, it says mm -hmm. to one. They recommended that automat already with okay. their, when they released this. So it's something they already should have been doing. Yep. The other two that leave it, left it exposed, my goodness, apparently I didn't need more scotch. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, the no warning or no elevation on install and on update set yeah. to zero. So those other two, you add those three uh, registry keys, you are you are secure at that Absolutely. point. Okay, good so to know. If it's one of those you don't need to print, just you can keep the spooler disabled and wait for them to fix it right. Oh come on, just just use this and but, do it. But if you're in in a rush, you can take this PowerShell as a you set it as PowerShell set and deploy, set uh -huh. up the machines, and it's going to add all of that after it patches. Boom, there you go. Yeah, and speaking of uh, compromises, uh, also, Kaseya got compromised this week, I guess. Mm -hmm. There was some issues, uh, again, with uh, exploiting, you know, Kaseya. Did we, did we have that article? Yes, we do. Well, not about the Kaseya. This is on our book. Oh, speaking of, okay, yeah. So every time with, like, the solar winds or Kaseya, this happens. Anybody get, does deployments, yeah? We get a lot of emails like, hey, what are you guys doing to keep us safe? Oh, Yeah. So we have a blog that I wrote after the SolarWinds one, uh, is PDQ Deploy Inventory Safe, mm -hmm. in, in the blog there. And basically, it, it breaks it down. The security team's not going to let us talk about it. Uh, not, not about well, our specific The specifics, yes, but we're going to give the those. ideas of what, the, the general overview of what yeah. happens. And so basically, on the internal protections, they whatever tools they use, which they, I'm not even sure what they use at this yeah. point, it's, they search for anomalous behavior on the networks. Mm -hmm. Uh, monitors the, the latest software, exploit software, and they monitor for malicious activities that are used for lateral movement within networks. So they're, they're monitoring before it gets in there for the latest things, and if somehow it gets in, they monitor for it moving within our network. Exactly, and, and we test 
all our packages yep. before we release them. So. That's just for the internal. When it comes mm -hmm. to the package library, yeah. which that's that's the big yeah yeah the, the the big concern is what are we doing to keep that safe? Uh, we do have to use the installers that come from the people. So we don't alter those. So we use yeah, the, what, whatever they have is what what we have. Mm -hmm. So when we install it, we get the hash file of that, and then we do we put it up for a virus total mm -hmm. and do a whole bunch of scanning. We test it, we test the install, make sure it's all good, and every step along the way, we're comparing the hash. So we're sure that the package we upload for people to use is the same file as the one we've downloaded uh, from from the system. But if like as if Adobe Core gets hacked. Uh, we're well, giving you the same thing you would have downloaded. But it's going to be Adobe no different if you're downloading it yourself. If it gets in that level, it's it's going through anyway. But when it gets to us, we, we make sure the file doesn't change from beginning to end after we do the scan to make sure the hash is the exact same. So, we're, I, we're, I think yeah. we have some uh, some examples of that happening in the in the past. Didn't Notepad plus uh, plus get packaged with uh, some malware, and we caught it before we put it on the package library. You know, I can't remember, JJ. That is I think possible. I, it was probably about five years ago. It was yeah. a long time ago if it did yeah. happen. So yeah. yeah, there's there's that when there's another package where we're constantly getting virus total hits. I can't remember, but uh, eventually Shane just said pull it. Pull it, yeah. It was <laughs> some CD burner ISO yeah. type <laughs> tool. Hey, yeah. on a lighter note. Oh, fun. A much lighter note, guys. <laughs> I uh, I have this article from USA Today. It's how to boost your cell phone signal. <laughs> and this was so funny. I, ha I Guys, I'm going to paraphrase this, all right? This so, should be good. <laughs> here we go, all right? To boost your cell phone signal, number one, rule out the basics. Okay. All right, all right rule all out right. the basics. So, is it so, turned on? So, then, so number one is basically troubleshoot it. Troubleshoot, okay. okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that's, that. that's good advice. Okay, <laughs> number <laughs> two. <laughs> this, is my, this is why this is getting, it's getting better, guys. Try the good old IT standard, which I mean, is basically reboot, right? <laughs> Reboot your phone, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and guys, I did. I spent the time to read this for you so you don't have to. Three, this is my personal favorite. To boost your cell phone signal, find another spot. Oh, move. There you go. That's Heaven deep. forbid, right? Yeah. I am surprised. Wait, is there more? Well, there is. There's a couple more. Right. I know it doesn't seem like it. We've I'm, hit I'm, I'm, everything. I'm, I'm waiting like with bated breath. We've what hit everything. What are. else could you possibly do? Boost your signal by doing Wi-Fi calls, and then there's kind of an ad for Wi-Fi stuff. Oh. I am <laughs> shocked. You know what? This is surprised a that they don't have tinfoil hat as one of them. <laughs> yeah, wrap it uh, on your antenna. Uh -huh. This is uh, <laughs> a great example of the type of hard-hitting reporting that we've come to expect from USA Today. Well done. Well, well done, <laughs> USA Today. So okay. step one was... Rule out the basics, and yep. then the other steps were just the basics. The basics, yeah, yeah pretty much. Well, my, like I said, JJ, guys, the, the number one thing is is find a different spot. So, all right, see ya. Oh, there, did, there we did, go. You got a yeah, uh, signal? Oh, uh, how's your lighting? That's it's still pretty still good, right. actually. It's actually better. <laughs> it's better. We <laughs> do adjust there, those. Yeah. <laughs> now we do. All right. Well, now we confirm oh, that boy. it works. Wow, there we go. Everyone so, is safe and secure. Hey, I, I saved you guys from having to read that article. I gave you the gist of it. So. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good we article. Deal with the, we have to deal with the CNN article about Print Nightmare saying, yeah, yeah just, just yeah, deploy the patch. Yeah, do it. Okay. So well after and they are now the number one spot because yeah, they're CNN. Yeah, it's it, 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 it is well after it was confirmed to fail. CNN said, hey, patch your system. Everything's good. Just, yep. Some business mm -hmm. writer yeah. decided, hey. I'm gonna, we, I'm we've never some, made a mistake I'm before. I'm going to get some eyeballs huh? on yeah. this. I'm going I'm to throw them a bone, guys. We've never made a mistake here before either, right? <laughs> well, I mean, technically they're not wrong. You should, you mm, should yeah, patch. You should. Just do other Absolutely. stuff after. Do, well, Continue yeah. they didn't put, the process. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't put that in the article. <laughs> <laughs> so they're half right. So they're not technically wrong. Uh, well, they didn't maliciously <laughs> exclude it. They're yeah. just, they didn't do their homework, which... I won't make comments about this. Okay, whoa, whoa, we got to stop so, here. We can't no, go there. So what, what, I have to imagine maybe this one was so bad that Microsoft had like a press packet that yeah. they sent out. Hmm. You would yeah, think. Yeah, they may have. Yeah. So so they basically... Could have come down the wire. Yeah. Come down the wire. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, it was a rough... Because we talked about the last week, they just had a rough go. Not yeah. just print nightmare. It was, they're struggling. Yeah. There's, uh, they've had better days. But it, better it, days. It'll, all, it'll all even out. You guys just keep patching. Okay, yeah. that's what you need to do. All your, all the stuffs. Yeah. If I if I was a gambling man, I'd say patch Tuesday in what, four four or five days. That's probably going to contain the rest of the fix. So if you wanted to wait five days, there's a chance that they'll have the full fix. But if you want to start printing now, 
we just go to our blog and follow those. And you can Either way, you. We're check it out. You. Yeah. Yeah. You guys playing any video games right now? Oh, wait. Oh. What were you going to do, Lex? I was just going to show you. Check it out, man. This is oh. my print spooler right here. Oh, that's good. He uh, is can't old have school. This. Old school, baby. <laughs> Unlimited paper for a paperless oh, world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a paperless world. <laughs> Doing any gaming? Limitless paper for papers list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, any any gaming? Any gaming? Yeah. So my my computer is shut down. I don't I've been I've been gambling with that update. <laughs> no man, I haven't been playing games, dude. Not even with your kids. So my daughter's been playing Final Fantasy VII. The oh remake. man, that's great. How's she uh, doing? Well, she's beaten it twice, and she's still going. So okay. and Be- I know that sounds bad. We limit the video games that she can play in a day. To the point where we got back over the 4th of July from a vacation, and me and my wife, we fell asleep on the couch while uh-huh. she was gaming, and we didn't set a timer that we normally set to give her. She woke us up from the nap to inform us that we forgot to set a timer to make sure she didn't play too many what video games. a responsible Man. child. Dude, that's it. i got to spend an afternoon with your daughter and teach her a few things about how life really works. <laughs> She's just that good. But based on how asleep we were, she could have gotten... Many hours of video games in. That's incredible. You know what's scary about this? Hmm. She is the adult in this relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was trying to talk to her about uh, when we were leaving from the vacation, uh-huh. and she's like, "That's great, Dad. Can I go floss now?" Oh my <laughs> goodness! Go floss. Wow. You raised a, a, a daughter. <laughs> that's I, I'm not taking any credit for it. Yeah, this angel. A, I have an she amazing time wife. management yeah. from somewhere else. You know? I have an amazing wife, and she's done wonderful. <laughs> but at school, she drew a picture of her carrying Cloud Sword from Final Fantasy, fighting a Tom Barry, and uh, could Lex's not, eyes just blazed berry? over. Like that, that that Tom Barry, it's a little green thing, carries a lantern and a knife. Uh, he You're casts the spell. Oh, all right. Cast <laughs> spell <laughs> Tom Barry. Something about a dingleberry. All right. So. <laughs> okay. And the, the, the teacher was as confused yeah. as you were, and we she had, to had to explain to her it. that it wasn't anything bad. So. <laughs> it's like she's drawing weapons. <laughs> That's an issue. <laughs> Fighting monsters. Well, like, no, no, this is really, it's okay. She can't, do, right. she can't do Braver without the Buster Sword. It'd be ridiculous. Yeah, she's a, she's a fantasy fan. Yeah. It's a good right. thing you don't have like, a zero tolerance <laughs> policy there. Right over my head, man. Well, right with that head. riveting piece of information that Lex really was entertained by, we're going we're gonna to call it on the right credentials. Today, we're, we're at our time. So. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jordan. I'm Lex. PDQ.com.